Welcome back to the channel. Today we will discuss how to cut plexiglass using a circular saw. A circular saw is a good tool to have in your shed. It is very good for cutting different types of materials like woods, metals, tiles, plastics, and plexiglass. In this video, our focus is on how to cut plexiglass with a circular saw. What is plexiglass? Plexiglass is the trade name commonly used to refer to acrylic. An acrylic, just like polycarbonate, is a thermoplastic homopolymer that is transparent. The similarity between it and polycarbonate is that they are both resistant to impact and a good alternative to using glass. The first production was in 1928 but was first showcased in the market in 1933, five years after. The company that first sold it in the market was Haas and Rome Company. It's regarded as the clearest plastic in the market. It is also called acrylic glass. Its various brand names include Acrylite, Lucy, Perspex, and Plexiglass. They are all made from the same material. It was quickly adopted by the military during World War II. It is what was used in making the windscreen of warplanes, periscopes for submarines, canopies, and turrets. It was noticed that acrylic is better for airmen than glasses. The eyes of airmen who got injured by the shards from acrylic fared better compared to those from broken glasses. As a result of this, acrylic plexiglass has become more popular over time. They are now being used in making more products like acrylic nails, lenses, furniture, paints, medical devices, security barriers, and LCD screens. Its clarity has also made it a good material for making see-through tanks, glasses, and enclosures for exhibits. But they are more prone to having scratches than glasses. As a result of this, some manufacturers cover their surface with scratch-resistant materials. What is the best means of cutting plexiglass? The best means of cutting plexiglass is by using a laser. This will give you a precise and neat cut. But this is mostly used by professionals and experts. Most people working at home do not have a laser. In that case, you will need an alternative tool that will give you a clean cut. If you do not use the right tool and blade to cut the plexiglass, it could get shattered. That is why you need to use the right tool. If you intend to make a straight cut, the circular saw is one of the best tools to use. It has blades with the right gauge to make a perfect cut without splintering the plexiglass sheet. Requirements for cutting plexiglass using a circular saw. At the start of any type of work, you must have in your possession all the necessary tools and materials needed to complete the work. This will save a lot of energy and time. Select the tools that you need. A well-planned work leads to a good result. Part of the arrangements you need to make includes working space, the timing of the day that will be suitable for you, and who to assist you if you need a helping hand. While selecting your tools, make sure you select the best saw blade that will serve the purpose of the project well. Having a dimmer among your materials is also essential. It functions as speed control for the blade while cutting the plexiglass. You need to cut the plexiglass at a low speed. It helps to prevent friction which can cause the buildup of heat and makes the plexiglass to melt. Also get the protective equipment required for the work, a straight wood, clamp, plexiglass, and a painter's tape or masking tape. The protective equipment you need are, 1. Earplug. 2. Gloves. 3. Safety goggles. 4. Nose mask. 5. Helmet. 1. Test your tools It is a good idea to have all your tools tested before you start working. This will help you ascertain their conditions before you use them on your material. It prevents any unforeseen disappointment or delay in your work. You can decide if there are tools that need repair, greasing, or any other maintenance. If the damage is permanent, try replacing them on time or get one from a neighbor. Also, as part of the preparation for the work, you need to get your cutting tools sharpened. This is important for the circular saw blade. There is a type of sharpener that is specifically made for circular saws. 
Working with blunt tools can cause a lot of problems with your work. It makes cutting more difficult, slower and you will end up having a rough work. It could even damage the plexiglass you are working on. If the blades need to be replaced, then you must have them replaced. The successful execution of this project is dependent on the working condition of your tools. It also reduces the possibility of any injuries arising from the use of such tools. 2. Work in a properly lighted room. Having this kind of work done in a badly lit room can be dangerous and affect the outcome of the work. It can lead to an injury because of the darkness in the room. You can as well wear a headlight. This will help to provide you with light while freeing your hands to do the work freely. But the best working condition will be to work during the day when there is sunlight. If the room has big windows or a transparent roof, that will be good. It will provide you with uninhibited lighting in the whole room. 3. Work in a properly ventilated room. Working in a properly ventilated area is healthy. It helps in regulating the humidity of the room and keep the air in the room fresh. If the room is not well ventilated, there will be a shortage of oxygen. This can be a dangerous situation as you will get exhausted from the lack of oxygen. Also, the lack of ventilation can cause more harm. There may be airborne particles flying around because of the type of work being done. If there is no exit route for them, you could end up inhaling them. Another problem with working in a poorly ventilated room is that you can get all sweaty easily. This will make you quite uncomfortable. Be sure that the windows and doors are open. That means you need to work in a room that has at least two windows positioned at different sides of the room. 4. Have your working area cleared. Another important requirement for having your job done properly is working in a well-arranged area. Remove unnecessary tools or material from your working table. Also, do not allow children to play around the work area. Get all the needed tools arranged in the work area. Make everything as comfortable as you want it to be. This will make your work more comfortable and faster for you to do. 5. Wear a personal protective equipment PPE. The work you are about to do can be hazardous. If care is not taken, you could end up being maimed for life. Your ears and eyes could also have serious impairment if they are not properly protected. Make sure that you are wearing an earplug. Cutting plexiglass can be very loud. Also, make sure you wear your helmet, hand gloves, nose mask, and safety goggles. With these protective measures taken, the risk of injury is greatly reduced or possibly eliminated. 6. Use the right blade. It is important to remind you that plexiglass is just another plastic. Its core material has the makeup of plastic. Because of this, it tends to melt at a high temperature. Therefore, you must choose the right blade that will not heat up too much. The best type of blade to use for the cut is the titanium carbide tipped 10 inch, 80 tooth saw blade. This will give you the best possible result when cutting the plexiglass. 7. Consider how thick the plexiglass sheet is. Check how thick the plexiglass sheet is. This will guide you in choosing the right blade for the cut. The size mentioned earlier is good for varied sizes. But it is most appropriate for sheets that are thick. The best type to use for a thin sheet is a blade that is sharp. That will help the cut to move smoothly without breaking the plexiglass. The process of cutting the plexiglass. 1. Put the plexiglass you wish to cut on the work table. 2. Make the glass firm on the work table by clamping it. But be careful not to tighten it too much to avoid breaking it. 3. Mark out the line that you intend to cut. Preferably, using a ruler for that. This will help you cut a straight, flawless line. The line should be drawn on both sides of the glass. 4. The side of your material to be cut out should be made to hang out from the work table. 5. Place the painter's tape or masking tape directly on top of the line that was drawn. This will help to prevent the plexiglass from splintering. 6. Then place the wood on top of the glass and clamp them together. Make sure they are clamped tightly. 
This will help you achieve a neat cut. 7. While you are cutting, make sure that you are not going too fast or too slow. If you move too fast, the glass could break. If you are too slow, the blade will heat the surrounding area of the glass and melt it. How to prevent the plexiglass from melting while cutting? To prevent the plexiglass from melting while cutting it, you should use a coolant. If you do not have one, you can make it by mixing liquid soap and water. While you are cutting, pour the soapy water or coolant on top of the blade. This will help to cool the heat on the saw blade and at the same time act as a lubricant. This will make the cut easier by reducing the friction and prevent the blade from heating up and melting the plexiglass. This will help to keep the edges of the glass smooth. The protective layer and its importance. Although the plexiglass is a good alternative to glasses, its biggest flaw is that it gets scratched easily. As a result of this, the manufacturers use a protective layer to prevent scratches during transportation and handling. If the plexiglass has a protective layer, then you do not need to protect it with a painter's tape or masking tape before cutting. Therefore, you do not need to remove it before cutting. But immediately you are done with the cut, you can remove it. How to prevent kickback. When you are working and you feel a kickback from the machine, release the trigger immediately. When the circular saw kicks back, it moves backward. Make sure that you do not position your body directly behind the saw. The reason is that it will help you to avoid being injured when the kickback happens. One of the things that can cause a kickback is if the wood and the plexiglass are not tightly clamped together. To prevent kickback, make sure that the surface you are working on is smooth. Also, the plexiglass needs to be lying on the table's surface flat. Furthermore, check the blade of the circular saw. Make sure there are no bent teeth on it. The blade also needs to be very sharp. Adjust the saw blade to suit the size of the plexiglass. Also, make sure that the saw blade is rigidly fastened to the shaft. While cutting, do not place the blade too hard on the plexiglass. Place it lightly but firmly. Allow the saw blade to pick up enough speed before cutting the plexiglass. If you notice anything wrong, stop the work immediately. Check out what the problem is. If you miss the cutting line, start afresh. How to polish the edges of the glass. When you are through with the cut, use waterproof sandpaper to rub on the glass edges. The right grit of sandpaper to use is the 180 grit sandpaper. You can stop when you notice that the edges are smooth enough. When it is soft, buff the edge. You can fit a pad on an electric drill to buff. Apply Polish compound and buff again. This will make the glass to shine. Alternative ways of cutting a plexiglass. We had earlier mentioned that the best tool for cutting plexiglass is with a laser. But in the absence of a laser and circular saw, other tools can be used depending on the type of cut. They include, 1. Jigsaw is best for curving cuts. 2. The band saw for brittle plexiglass. 3. The table saw is good for making long and straight cuts. 4. Hack saw. Conclusion. Cutting plexiglass is not such a difficult task to accomplish. The secret is to pick the right blade for the job and follow the tips that have been given here. As we mentioned, the best tool to use is a laser. That will give you a clean and easy cut. But in the absence of that, you should use the circular saw or any of the other saws mentioned above. This depends on the type of cut you wish to make. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site, www.zimsaws.com for more awesome, saw, content like this.